What's up guys, Hobo88 here and welcome back to the V8 Supercar. We've got the AOSC Season Finale. We're at Bathurst for 650Ks, 104 laps, co-driver race. I'm starting off here, I'm driving with Wayne Burke in this race. Same person I drove with in the official Bathurst 1000. Not my usual co-driver in this series, but uh, we had a good run in the official 1000 so we should be good here again today. Didn't really lay down the best quality time. But we're starting in sixth, it's a long race. Sit back and enjoy it. Vince <laughs> definitely jumped the start then. Yeah, I saw him roll. Gonna let, the, let this settle in a bit here. I, unless I get a good run at the bottom of the straight, I probably won't really push the issue here on the car ahead. Side. You're clear. Two minutes six point three two one. 
That's a bit awkward. That feels good so far.
Just got the wall on the inside of the elbow there. Only driving about 90% of the minute, just cruising. Pushing very hard. No real need to with the uh, safety cars that we know will come out in this series. They just went side by side, they're pulling away bit by bit. I'm only driving about 90%, just cruising. Yeah, all good, mate. No point pushing real hard right now. I don't know if Sam might have damage or something, I think we're catching him. Yeah, it looks like it. Apologies for the... Apologies for the lack of commentary, I'm not talking much in this video, you've got to concentrate so hard at this track. Don't lap this one. Yeah, he lost a little bit of ground. Six. 
actually it wasn't so much that I was slow as much as he was quicker. Yeah, you're looking pretty good. He just did a 5.8. 5.6. <laughs> five, five, Those guys have just picked up the speed, that's all. Yeah, I have a JRT working there too. Oh, awesome. Just useful when you're trying to figure out when someone stopped, if they're going to need fuel, you know. Yep. I can't do the fuel number thing because I'm going to probably ready. And neither do I, doesn't matter. Safe, safe, safe. Closed. The road's closed. So we'll so, so, so we'll have to pit top off, but I don't think we won't have to use enough fuel yet to drive the spot. No. So we'll fill it, I'll go again, and then drive a swap again to the next stint. Yep, sounds good. When I um I looked at it before it was gonna be like I think it's four point seven stints. So this might make it yeah, just a you straight can't to the back. sort of calculate it on that the way the safety cars are on this you have to wait for yeah, the last right. one and then figure it out yeah yeah that was all green basically any time that there's a safety car you pit you take fuel um, and it saves you time stationary later yeah of course line up behind the 215 I like to think maybe I was being a little bit more economical than these guys. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 First thing's always a bit dodgy, and I've been out of the cars for so long. Well, not yeah. long, but I've been doing so much rallycross and dirt that it's hard to get back up to speed, you know? I reckon after this, fresh tyres, I'll probably be able to do a bit better times if I wanted to push, but again, there's really still no point. We'll just keep trucking along until the last safety car gets itself in position. Yep. You don't want to be the safety car because you, they got to pull you out of a tree or something. True. Once you lose a lap, that's when you're in a bit of trouble in this series. <coughs> that's like any race series. Oh yeah, it's just very hard to get your lap back in any series really, isn't it, on iRacing? Yeah. The only ones I've ever seen that really do it is Dane Warren. He's done it like four times in this series. <laughs> <laughs> he always drops out, his internet drops out and he loses a lap and then he always ends up back at the front. Because they do the wave around thing. So, after the cars all come down the pit lane, yep. they'll wait until everyone queues up behind the safety car, and then anyone that's um, a lap down in front of the leader at the time gets waved past. So you can get a lap back that way. You'll be lining up behind the 215. Yeah, okay. We shouldn't have to worry about it. No. Shouldn't. What's he doing? <laughs> Put me in the dirt. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Get behind the 215. We know all of Greg Sharp's strategy. What's that? The oh, didn't you hear him? Have you muted Drivers oh, Channel? Yeah, I've muted, I've muted Drivers Chat, yeah. He was just talking like to everybody about whether they're going to pit uh, or not. Because if people <laughs> don't pit and stuff. That's funny. I'll turn it back on. I'm missing out. Hey, why can't the oh, pits are open? open. Yeah, so why are the pits not open? Oh, that's interesting. You know why though, in his case, because he's, he's driving to a number to get fuel cell in. Some laps? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll worry about it after I get out of the car, because you just got to make sure you get past minimum, and then after that yeah, the strategy it opens just, up. Uh, it's no, not it's the, not drive a fair share, it'll be like 45 laps or something. Yeah. Almost overshot the box. Oh, I didn't turn off the fast repair. God damn it. Can you hear me, mate? Sorry, I totally forgot about that. That's <laughs> all good. You don't no, run the no, series. No, You're no, not meant no. to remember. No. Alright, no, well, we've no. used one. Righto. <laughs> all right, man. One to go. Just going to go ahead and turn that off right now. Behind the 85. Cool. I'll have a few slower guys to navigate then. Yep. Let Forzan deal with that. Yeah, go. Probably only like, uh, I don't know who Chris Robinson and Kyle Stokes are. They're probably going to be the toughest two. Yeah, not sure. But then once you get to Daniel Williams and McMillan, at least their pace is decent. Yeah, and then known quantities now? as well, because we race with them yes. all the time. We know what to expect. True. Probably raced with Chris and Kyle a lot, but I just don't recognise the names. I've definitely seen yeah. Kyle Stokes before, but I just haven't. I don't know what he's like to drive against. Yeah, so the, in theory, no matter which way it shakes out, that's going to hurt Phil Cell and Blacklock now. So they've just lost 10 laps worth of fuel stationary somewhere. But what? 
right, six places on the road. Yeah. So maybe like say five, between five and ten seconds at most for us to clear traffic. We might lose to him. Yep. It's going to be a lot longer than that sitting still at some point. Well, I don't know who would be driving with McMillan, but obviously Daniel yeah. Williams is driving to the minimum lap number as well to get to... McMillan's in the 57, yeah? No, McMillan's in the 248. Uh, he'll be driving with Ethan Warren, probably. Ah, uh, yes, and then Daniel Williams with Dane Warren, so yep. they'll be all driving to lap 45 or whatever. Yeah, whatever the number is. is to get their co-drivers in. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if Ethan's with uh, Daniel, uh, Thomas or not. Where we look. Usually, usually that's who it would be. Well, he usually drives with Daniel. I guess that was when Luke yeah. Harvey was driving with Dane. <laughs> yeah. Ethan's with Thomas, and you're gonna be Dane lining up behind him. Eighty-five. Feels like a hybrid race here. I'm gonna pit this lap. Is he one of the guys at the front? No. Good, because otherwise we all get black flags. Remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just gonna flip there under yeah. car. Nah, it's all good. I can't see the leader from here. Hey, guys, off. Are you ready? Ready. Right, here we go. Green flag. Good man, you got your rhythm there. Thank you. Good job, my man. You go up there and take it from him now. Four minutes, twelve point five seven six. Chris Robinson, the one who wouldn't move over in the quality session. Uh, it was his teammate, but yeah. yeah okay. Not that he has to move over. Race him. Kills you, doesn't it? Yeah. with that move down at the elbow, do you? <laughs> no. You're completely dependent that the guy doesn't turn in on you. Yeah. Well, you lost, we lost like two seconds of bars and over the top of the other. Annoying. Thing is now I'm going to catch these guys at the bloody top of Mountain Straight again and be stuck behind them for the next lap too. Oh no, Ryan. Oh well.
Paul's actually got pretty good speed. Probably got all the tyres. Yeah. He's got the tyres on Not uh, really sucking up on people like we did at the official race. Spotter was calling that there was a car stopped. Yeah, I heard it too. actually quicker in a straight line than we are. What the hell's going on? Maybe because it's cooler conditions. Right side. Clear him. That was maximum brake capacity down at the chase that time. <laughs> I was yeah, chirping the tyres <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Thought I was gone. Zan's going to get frustrated in a minute. Oh, Ten lap all the tyres, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. But even, um, McMillan's all over him. Might have to save to make the number. I don't know. Hitting the tear off button for me sprint car to bug off the screen. Yeah, where's 
that one button. Yeah. I did get the limiter on Conrad that lap too. So we're, yeah, we're fast down the straight. It's just everyone's fast. Yeah, in the draft too. It's gonna be a big shunt here in a minute. You were fast on that. On one hand, I want to go for this and try and clear them both, but then on the other, I just don't know if I want to fight. Forzan is a pretty aggressive driver. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds like it could be a bit spicy. Right side. Clear, clear, clear. But um, there's no penalties in this in this race. Only post-race stuff. That doesn't mean you can punt people because they give you championship points penalties. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, I felt like I left him enough room. But it's been hard to see. If I'm perfectly honest, I thought that as soon as I made it totally clear that I was going to go down the inside, that they wouldn't have fought too hard with 10 lap all the tyres. Yeah, um, it was really weird. Like, damn, it sounded like a really big net code. Like, yeah, I don't know. The wheels and everything, and you got no damage on the car. Like, oh, I don't think I touched him. But, yeah. yeah, it should have been like a, if anything, a light touch. To them later, they've fallen too far back to redress it. Yeah, they've uh... Two, minute six, point six, seven, three. Black Rock is done really slow to Yeah, I don't know. Who was that? Was that Daniel Williams that I turned? Yeah. Can you see that?
know either. Yeah, it might have been that code, I don't know. It's annoying though, you know, I don't want to do it like that. opportunistic sort of a move, but I think it was on. Yeah. You gotta run, there was a hole, and... He also tried to, like, lay apexes to get, like, a really good exit. Sort of squeeze you off on that. Yeah, well, that's what it felt like. I can't, I obviously couldn't see him, but... That's what I mean, I felt like I left enough room on the outside. Sure, he would have had to take a wide line, but... You can fit two cars side by side, but it's hard when you've got exactly one car with the room on the left to get down there. Yeah. That was really close to the wall down after the dipper there. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, someone just drop out? I don't know, it's back. Uh, me like blink. Two in front of you, they're about far away. They stopped. Should make it to 24, 25, somewhere there. Really in two minds about all this. I'm surprised Marlon's been sitting there for so long. Oh, not Marlon. Buzz. If the 85 wasn't in front of me, I'd be, no doubt about it, attack and get past. But yeah. I'd, you know, yeah. he's faster. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Worry about that. Don't know how to save fuel. up the hill.
liquid over the top, which is frustrating. Yeah. Uh, Blackwalks is blocking a ton. Yeah, well, you can tell, like, look how slow we're going up here. Last level is 7 dead. Hey, I've done a couple of them. Well, part of me knows that they're pitting in a couple of laps, like, it's going to jets. Let it go. Yeah, that's a big mill, just stick it down the inside of Fasel. Do something with the car to make it a little bit better off the 90 degree corners. I go down on the front bar, like I'm just understeering and it's killing my run off the corner. Yep, that was my question, was going to be what it's doing, going in. Yeah, well, I'm over, I just overdrove the elbow, but typically I think it's just not turning in as good as I need it to. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm really struggling, I can't make a pass because I can't get near him. my driving style or something. It might get better as the track rubbers in more, but it's just really hard at the minute. I can't get a run off the corners to even think about making a pass. I'm okay across yeah. the top. I can keep up with them. Catch them.
think it might be just a setup characteristic, it's still doing it. Yeah. It's turning it in really nice across the top, but it's just that the elbow especially. Massive understeer. I might have to start using first gear or something. Okay. Oh well we'll just do a very good comfortable way. I do think it feels better across everywhere else. Be patient there, bud. You'll get it. Leaders yeah, these corners too. It's just massive understeer. Two. I don't know. Point Hopefully four. the track comes Two. to us with that. Yeah, okay. Going down on the bump bias can help it. So more forward or more rearward? More uh, rearward. More rearward. Where is it at? Oh yeah, I usually run it at 48.7. Let's we'll see if that helps loosen it up a bit. Now we'll actually see what falls and speed is like in this leader pit. Just get this one. Yep. Felt much better that time. I thought it was at 48.7, that's where I normally run it, this set. Oh, let's go then. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Until it didn't stop at the chase. Leaders off pit road. Does it look bad Middle on the front? This Forzan's car looks bad. Good job. I don't really want to use the other fast repair, but I don't want it to blow up either. No hood of stuff on my screen. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, maybe not actually. Leaders on pit road. So annoying. I don't know, it feels alright so far as it handles and it, I don't think it's slow in a straight line but I'm worried that it'll blow up if we don't fix it. Yeah, I think we're going to use a cluster bit. Alright, don't, don't crash it. Daniel Williams, they won't anymore. Drop out. 
Hardware failure. Yep. That sucks. Could be anything worse than that, I don't reckon. That's what I like, man. You need that nose dirty up there. Out of race? Out of the race? Or did they just have to escape and uh, take a tow? Take a tow. Last side. Clear. Good job. Two. Minute six. Point four. Two. Nine. Up on you. Wonder how much that damage is affecting Forzang. I'm not really having any problems keeping up with him. Yeah, well, he's got no rear wing on the car. Is that the same as Osprey? Yeah. Does that really affect the handle? I don't, know. I don't think it does. Yeah. Shit, baby, get up on you. They broke at the 150. <laughs> that was funny. Did I just do the same lap time twice in a row? The car actually feels really good, man. Oh, good. Good 
man. I think that's the first place right there in front of you, man. Go get it. Find it so hard to drive cars behind cars that are blinking. Don't as fast as on that So off-putting, and this is the last track you can afford to be bloody half a wheel width wide somewhere. Yep. That won't really matter, not with another safety car coming. Time to get those boys out, put them up on the dash here. <laughs> oh, the spotter. Alright, time to get those boys out, put them on the dash. <laughs> 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 I got that, that was a good one. I like that. Be patient there, bud, you'll get it. All you got, bud, we're going to be paid here in about three. Five and a half laps of fuel left, you ready to go? Yeah, babe. Hey, I'm their fucking ass, man. We'll get them. Leaders off pit road. Leaders off pit road. Two minutes, six point four. Six. Leader pit road. Wonder if we should cover that. Leader pit road. If a safety car comes out now, it hurts us if we don't. Yeah, but it puts us in a better position fuel-wise later on, for shorter stops. Leaders off the road. We know where he comes out in regards to black lock and stuff. Yeah, we love watching that. Leaders on pit road. Leader pit road. He might have short field to make sure of it. Yeah, well, he's about four, four laps short, isn't he? Well, unless he's super bad on fuel, then yeah. <laughs> Lately, I've been decent on fuel compared to others, but not that good. What do you yeah, think? Would. Keep going? I think keep going. We 
have got some lap traffic a little up the road. Um, no, I'm coming in this time. Okay then. Something isn't right. I don't know if it's something with my wheel. Something doesn't feel right, so I'm coming in. Or I'm hanging the throttle or something. Something is really not right. Alright guys, thanks for watching, this is part one, we've got to get back in the car to do more laps so we will be back in for another video, we'll get posted after this one, so make sure you tune back in, see how we go, but uh, thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one.